Hey, do you have a fancy Minecraft house? Like, so fancy that it has a fireplace? You play on a server with your friends and they always take your stuff. Well, boy, do I have the perfect solution. It is so perfect that your friends, first of all, won't be able to find it. And even if they do, they'll be impressed. Wow. And here are the materials. I would like to give a little credit to FedEx Gaming. For the bottom half of the build, I altered his design to make it a little bit more simpler, easier, and compact. So I'll leave a link to his tutorial video and his channel in the description. Go check him out. Anyways, let's just get straight on into the tutorial. First, you're going to dig yourself a 6x4x3 hole. The two black concrete is where your netherrack is going to go. You know what? Right above this concrete, we can place our two netherrack. So dig this hole according to where you have your fireplace and these netherrack for the fireplace. You're going to go down below your netherrack and place two sticky pistons facing up with a block in between. Right here, you're going to place two redstone dust. Now you're going to go one out from the redstone dust and one up to this middle block. Place a block. On it, you're going to place a redstone torch facing in towards these, so it should extend the pistons up. Next to these pistons, you're going to fill in blocks right here in a 2x2. Two two. Then the one closest to the piston, this block row, you're going to place one block out. On these two blocks right here, closest to these sticky pistons, you're going to place two sticky pistons like so. Then to get your dispensers facing in towards the netherrack, you'll probably have to break them and replace them. Replace your two dispensers facing in, then replace your two netherrack. Now right next to these pistons, you're going to place two redstone dust, block on the side, then a repeater on max six lay facing into that block. Now in between the block with the redstone torch and this redstone repeater, we're going to place a block. Now you're going to get an angle like so. You're going to crouch, place a sticky piston on this repeater so it's facing in towards the redstone torch block like so. Now we need an observer facing into this block, so we'll have to place some temporary block. So then we can get the angle of the observer facing in. You'll notice how when we break the blocks too, it should trigger off these dispensers really quick. Like so. Now on the butt of the piston, you're going to place a block. Down an angle, place another block. Redstone dust on this block. Now you have this redstone dust, the corner. You're going to go back one from the corner and up one to the middle block and place it. Facing towards the corner, we're going to place a redstone torch on this block and should activate the piston. Now we're going to place a block down and repeater facing into it. So now for activation, we're going to have it going into this repeater. No matter what, if you want to activate the entire thing, it's going to be going into this singular repeater. If we activate it, it should take off the dispensers. If we deactivate it, it should take off the netherrack. Like so. Now to complete the bottom, we're going to crouch place a block on top of this repeater. And then redstone block on top. And directly on the other side, next to this dispenser, we're going to place redstone blocks. So then when these get moved up, they get ticked off. Now place whatever flint and steel you got into both dispensers. And then we can try this for real. So if we take it off, it should take off some fire. Like so. When we turn it off, it should get rid of the fire. Like so. Now if you remember the block that we placed on the butt of this piston, we're going to go back to it and place a redstone torch on top of it. Then a block on top of that, redstone torch on top of that, block on top of that, redstone torch on top of that, and a block on top of that. Now we're going to place a block going towards the back on this redstone torch. Peter facing out of it for tick delay. You're going to go out and up a block like so, then in a block towards the netherrack. Peter, two tick delay. Then go out two more blocks and make them redstone dust. Now since the door is made out of slime, we do need to place obsidian or any move blocks so that it doesn't affect the blocks. We're going to crash place two obsidian on these dispensers. Then on each side, we're going to get four pieces of obsidian going up. So one, two, three, four. On the other side, one, two, three, four. Then on the back side, we're going to place a temporary block on the third block up. Then you can place two obsidian like so. Then go to the top, and on the furthest block away from this repeater, we're going to place one more obsidian right there. On the block that we didn't place obsidian, we're going to place a repeater, two tick delay. Then on the obsidian block that we did just place, we're going to place a repeater, four tick delay. Now we're going to crouch place an observer down on this repeater. This should be looking like so. Then place a the repeater facing down right next to it. Like so. Oh, like so. Now we're going to place four slime blocks like so. Then whatever your fireplace block is. So you know what? I'm going to use brick. There we go. We got our brick box on it. Now it's ready for the real test. Replace redstone dust here, block, and then a lever. Let's see if this works. Click it. Should turn on and close. Turn it off. Fire should go away, and it should open. Perfect. Now, all you gotta do is cover it up. With covering this up, there isn't much you have to worry about with the slime blocks, because we already covered those up. And there's not much that you have to worry about with the redstone, because there's not that much that you can cut off. So as I said before with this repeater, all you have to do is hook up your redstone to this, and you can have your lever button wherever. So if I want my lever all the way out here, it should work unless it can't reach that far. It can reach that far. But let's say they have it even farther. Let's say you have it this far and it doesn't reach. What you'll need is you'll need a repeater. You have to add in a repeater right there where the redstone dies so then it can reach that far. Let's but certainly not least, this works the exact same as if you want your lever somewhere else. If you want a lever on the inside to activate it from the inside, simply just hook it up to the same redstone line. That's all you need to know is just hook it up to this redstone line and it'll work unless it doesn't reach, then you'll need a repeater. Simple as that. Hope today's video helped. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe, new, as always, post notice, and that's pretty much all I gotta say. See you next one. Goodbye.